Here is a big tree. Can you measure its height without climbing the tree? Because climbing a tall tree is dangerous. Don't do it. Measuring its height is very easy. Let's do it. We have already discussed the method in previous lessons, but we will go deeper and understand how it works. Say you are looking at the top of the tree from point C on the ground. The line CB drawn from your eyes to the top of the tree is the line of sight. The angle your line of sight forms with the horizontal plane that is ground that is angle ACB is called angle of elevation because you are looking up, you are looking up towards the tree, towards the top of the tree where AB is the height of the tree. Let us say the angle of elevation in this example is 45 degree and AC that is our distance from the base of the tree is 15 meters. So we need to find the height. We can use the tangent formula that is opposite side by adjacent side. So tan of 45 degree, the opposite side of angle ACB is AB and the adjacent side is AC. So tan of 45 is equal to AB by AC. We know tan 45 is 1 and AC is equal to 15 meters. So 1 is equal to AB by 15 which makes AB is equal to 15 meters. So height of the tree is 15 meters. Now let us say we are on the roof of the building instead of on being on the ground and we are looking down at a puppy on the road. In this case our line of sight looking down at the puppy is BC. So here the angle formed by the line of the sight with the horizontal plane is called the angle of depression. So angle DBC, think DB is a line parallel to the ground. So angle DBC is the angle of depression. Now look carefully. The angle of depression DBC and the angle of elevation ACB, that is if puppy was supposed looking up, the angle of elevation would be ACB. So angle of depression DBC and angle of elevation ACB are alternate angles. As AC and BD are parallel, the alternate angle DBC and the angle of elevation ACB are equal. Say in this case the angle of depression is 60 degree that is angle DBC is 60 degree. So the angle of elevation ACB is also 60 degree and let us say the height of the building is 50 meters and now in this case say we need to find how far is the puppy from the base of the building that is the distance AC we need to find. Now we know the angle ACB which is 60 degree and the opposite side AB which is the height of the building which is 50 meter to find AC which is the adjacent side of angle ACB, we can take the trigonometric ratio tangent. That is tangent of angle ACB is equal to opposite side AB by adjacent side AC. That is tan of 60 degree is equal to AB by AC. We know tan of 60 degree is equal to square root of 3 and AB is equal to 50 meters. So Replacing the values becomes square root of 3 is equal to 50 by AC. So AC is equal to 50 by square root of 3. We know approximate value of square root of 3 considering two decimal places it is 1.73. So AC is equal to 50 by 1.73 which is 28.90 meters that is approximately 29 meters. So the puppy is 29 meters from the base of the building. So solving problem with the angle of depression that is when the observer is looking down is like solving the problem with angle of elevation when observer is looking up. Bye bye.